I can't believe after six whole weeks of clean, you guys aren't tired of me talking about this lift. And just kidding, this is a point of request. I am here to help you guys with a little additional technique work for the clean. It's our Olympic lift where the bar goes from the ground up to the shoulders, whether it's through a power or a full squat. The big question is, how do I stop looking like this little collapsed like piece of dough at the bottom of my cleans, especially when I get to the bottom of my squat, when I look like this. Some of you guys actually make that noise, like when that happens on the clean, it goes like. So simply what we're trying to figure out and what we're trying to fix is your bottom position when you receive a clean. My elbows dropping, my back rounding, and the loss of my midline doesn't feel very good when you're trying to lift heavy weight. Example. Overall, I just look like a squished little bug at the bottom of my lip. We've got three things to touch base on that should help you guys fix that issue if you're having that problem. It's stretch, strengthen, and check your technique. We always like to start on stretching. Yes, the boring part. I always gotta be real with you guys. A lot of our issues stem from lack of mobility, okay? Plain and simple, if I can't get my elbows up because I don't have the flexibility, how can you expect to get your elbows up when you're lifting a whole ton of weight? So your lat flexibility is a big deal when it comes to front rack positioning, which is big in the clean. Now there's many ways you can stretch out your lats, but the easiest ways that I like to keep in my back pocket when it comes to clean is an easy wall facing front rack stretch where I put my elbow up on the wall, I reach right between my shoulder blades, I press my armpit towards that wall with a tight, tight belly. I'm feeling a good stretch through my lats, through my triceps, and that elbow going upwards is very similar to what happens when you use the barbell. Now my fancier one you can find in the first week of our six weeks clean series that's also on my YouTube page. It's called PVC Front Rack Stretch. I swear by that stretch, it has helped me get my front rack position better. It has helped me get faster with my elbows around the bar, which are all wins when it comes to cleans. Number two, we go to strengthen. Now, when you can get your elbows super tall in front of that bar, you wanna be able to hold them there and support that weight. The taller they get, the more vertical you can keep your chest, the better you're gonna feel. Now, there does come the element of strength. Couple of things that can help you strengthen your T-spine or your upper back so you can support that heavy weight would be something like a heavy goblet squat. I can take a big kettlebell and do some tempo goblet squats where I'm working on pulling my chest super, super tall the whole way through that position. I like them to be heavy because having that weight out in front is gonna make you work, work, work through your upper back and strengthen that T-spine up there so you can hopefully keep your chest much taller when you receive the barbell. Another good thing is adding a second kettlebell to you and doing kettlebell front squat. Holding my elbows super tall, making sure the kettlebells stay on the front side of me, and same thing, squatting down, holding my big chest in the front, not letting my upper back round or feel like I'm getting scrunchy to the ground. I like to keep tempos on those, so going really, really slow through those squats so I can focus on positions. Now point number three, the fun one that everyone wants to know. I know that's why you guys are here. I know that's why you guys are here. No one wants to listen to the stretching and the strength accessory, but everybody wants to know the fun technique work. I'm gonna leave you guys with my favorite, all time favorite clean drill, but they're called tall cleans. Tall cleans focus on your timing and your speed to get from your extension to your receiving position, whether it be a power or a squat clean. I suggest you start with this PVC and then graduate to a lighter barbell. I'm gonna pretend like I just did a hard jump and extension, a slight lift from my heel off the ground, but I don't wanna lose my footing, I wanna stay balanced. From here, I'm pulling myself to under the bar and pulling my elbows around the bar to that tall front rack position. It's gonna, I'll show you guys a tall power clean first and then a tall squat clean. So I shrug a little bit, I get my legs fully extended, my quads are squeezed, my booty squeezed, like I just did the hardest jump through the ground. And when I say go, I'm gonna pretend like I pull my elbows around the bar to a strong power position. From here, go. Stand, cover. I'll also show you guys a tall clean to the squat. 
tight, tight, tight. Tall, 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 and go. So what might be happening that might make you guys get to a squished bottom position of the clean? It might be your timing in that the bar is actually crashing down on you. Pulling from your arms, that is the big one. So if I take this barbell and I'm not focused on driving hard with my legs, instead I'm thinking about lifting from my arms, typically athletes will pull that bar so high and then have space to where the barbell crashes down on them. We're focused on jumping, elevating the barbell from my legs, not pulling from my arms. These are small muscles up here. Big muscles down here move the big weights. Instead of thinking I'm pulling the barbell to my shoulders, that's a no-no, we need to think jump hard, pull my elbows around the bar so my body meets the barbell at that nice timing to where you don't get squished. Those are my three tips I have for you guys to keep a good bottom position and hopefully receive those big heavy cleans in a strong position and then stand them up and hit big old PRs. We love it. We love the big lifts over here. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. We're going to do more awesome things in the future. Always, always. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.